Hey everybody, I'm going to do a fun quick video. I'm just gonna share it a few places and um, then we're gonna get going. Um, hopefully you guys had a great weekend. Um, I know we enjoyed it. It's nice to kind of have some of the rain done, but of course the heat went um, and we had that. Um, so I guess I'll take it, it's good pool weather. So, um, did everybody have a good Father's Day? I hope so. Um, I know we did. Um, I am just going to share this in a group or two. Um, make it easy. I wish I could share it in multiple groups at once. Make it easy peasy that way. Um, but I have totally been obsessed with this breakfast sandwich maker. Yes, I know it's not breakfast time right now, um, but I am going to um, show you a fun little, I'm gonna show you how to use it real quick. Um, and I'm making dinner right now too, so I just figured I'd um, show you a quick little look at a couple of the products that I have right now too. Alrighty. <laughs> I did that one. I'll try to get the right one. All right, because I know. Um, all right, got that done. Now, what's this? All right, we are making lasagna for dinner. I am just using my mixing pot. And I'm going to use my little spoon rest here for my mixing cup while I let that cook. And I am going to use some of our garlic rub in here just for some extra seasoning. Um, and oh, good, I might find seasonings right there in the front. Um, so I don't know if that's fat or not, but that's all my Pampered Chef seasonings and I even have backups up there. Um, but, and then this is our multi-pot. Um, I'm boiling water, but, and of course my microwave's too low, but um, this is so you don't have to worry about that condensation getting on your pan. Um, and this does perfectly with the steamer. But, while that's cooking, let me mix this up a little bit more. And that means, this is the mixing cup that everybody says that is now their favorite. As I was telling everybody, it used to be the ice cream scoop. Now it's the mixing cup. This has been a favorite for a while now. All right, breakfast sandwich maker. I have everything all laid out. Um, I'm going to take it off. This is ceramic. This is like our ceramic egg cooker. Um, I'm going to put a lid on this so it's a little bit quieter. And turn down the temperature. Okay, so it's like our um, ceramic egg cooker. I am going to get my little stand here and hold it like this so that way you guys can see it better. Okay, I'm going to take this off here at the bottom. It even tells you that you need to puncture your egg yolk. I just spritz it with a little bit of oil from our kitchen spritzer um, just so it slides out even easier. Okay, just a real little bit. Um, at least the pressure set that over there. So now, I'm going to take an egg out, crack it, throw my shell away, and I'm going to find a fork to puncture my egg yolk, okay? Now, I normally throw in a little bit of seasonal and pepper on mine, so I'm just going to sprinkle that. That's how we cook our eggs at our in the Lee's house. So I'm gonna do that. Now I'm gonna take out. I have bacon sitting up in here because you know what's not to love. I'm gonna take this first layer right here, shove that in there, and then I'm just gonna take my scissors, cut the bacon in half, and I'm gonna line it just like. 
so. Okay. Like this. And then I am going to pop this on, okay? This is going in the microwave for one minute. Sorry, it's one-handed. There we go. I'm not having my camera people. Okay. Just one minute. That's going to be done. And let me finish stirring. See, I hate when the meat crumbles are really chunky and uneven. And the mixing shop just fixes that for us. And you notice this is our new, this is our stainless skillet, but it's non-stick. So you can get that nice searing that you want and seamless feel of cooking, but yet everything doesn't stick on there. So I'm just going to stick this on and let that finish cooking. My water is looking good. All right. So now I just need to give a quick slice. I'm using a biscuit. Um, let me set this down again. Um, I'm using a biscuit because I prefer, um, because that's what I have and I need to use. I had some clearance ones. Okay, so I'm just going to slice this in half so it's already done before it gets hot. Um, throw this away. All right, so we got that. One minute. I'm going to quickly pull off the lid. I'm going to just pop my biscuit on and put the lid back on, okay? And put it in for another minute, okay? Um, Seriously, it's so easy. Um, I have English muffins on standby, ready to use for um, use for my breakfast sandwiches. Um, I've done a mini bagel because that's what I've had. Um, you probably could even use regular bread. You would just probably have to either cut it to the shape. You could use our cut and seal um, to warm the pieces of bread up, or you can just use the toaster and only do. Um, you can do less time with the breakfast sandwich maker to add it. Now, I always add cheese at the end um, just because it's easier that way. Um, I'm going to grab my microwave oven grips, my microwave grips, and I'm going to set those out. And it's almost ready. So I'm going to set this down. Make it easy peasy. Oh, it'll turn it the right way. Ha. There we go. And okay. Set it down. Turn take the lid. Make sure you turn it away from you. It will be steamy. And it would help to have a plate. So I'm going with as I call it my fine china and I'm using a paper plate. Um, okay. So here's the bacon, biscuit, and egg. So let me set the biscuit out. And then I'm just going to slide the egg out carefully. Put my piece of cheese right here in the middle. And quickly put my bacon on and voila it's done it's cute and it's super easy um, so you see how beautifully cooked the egg is it's perfect um you guys this is such a fun tool um, you can do bacon Canadian bacon um, sausage patties um, you can do regular egg you can do a scrambled egg um, you can use biscuits, you can use a bagel, a bagel thin, an English muffin, um, you can do gluten free, um, anything that you want. It's so easy to do, even if you really just wanted to use that to cook your eggs because it's it's wider. Um, we have our ceramic egg cooker and I love it. This is the same design, um, but I love the shape that this comes out. So um, I'm gonna go and finish piecing together my lasagna. I just wanted to pop on and show you that right now. Um, because it's such a handy, fun tool. So I hope you guys have had a great Monday and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Yeah, Angel, you got to get one of those. Um, we'll see y'all soon. Thanks.